Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the one click enchanting room and the last time we did an enchanting video I said it would probably be the last one. I was wrong because there is an even better design out there and it is this one that was made by Jerry Brano. He is a member on my server and a lot of people were talking about his enchanting room. I had to go and check it out and as the name suggests it is a one click enchanting room. That means you go in, you press the button once and then you get that many bookshelves. Now there are 15 bookshelves in total, there is a button for each one so you can have up to 15 or you can have just a single bookshelf and there's also a button to have no bookshelves as well which is pretty convenient and pretty awesome. So before we build this wonderful contraption I should probably explain to you how the redstone works and actually it's pretty simple to understand. It mainly revolves around these two comparators right here and what they do is they maintain the signal strength because if you have a look the output of this one is fed through this comparator and it's also its input. Now this comparator right here just passes the signal down below as well and then the stronger the signal strength that comes down here the more pistons will be powered. So the way that we change the signal strength that's maintained by these two is by obviously pressing those buttons and when we do that we are going to pass the signal up here because this is a stair block and it's going to turn off this comparator because it's in subtract mode. And so when that happens the button is going to send a signal and that obviously degrades the further away from this bit it is but that signal strength will be passed into this block here. So when this unpowers and this comparator turns back on, this will be its input and then it will maintain that signal strength. So let's see that in action. Let's do this one first of all. You're going to see the comparator is turned off for a moment there. Then the signal strength that was passed into this block will be maintained. And we can see that even better by choosing a weak signal strength. So this is further away from the comparator that is the input and you can see there that now the lower signal strength is maintained. And then of course we have the reset button to turn the thing off completely. If we press this there's going to be no signal going into this block right here so it just turns off the signal completely. So to build this you're going to need an area of land that is seven blocks wide, nine blocks deep and you probably want to build this flush with the ground so because of that we're going to dig down by one block in these places Then you might be wondering how big this building is going to be. It's going to go another five blocks above the ground so that's roughly how tall it's going to be. So to build this you're going to need an enchanting table, 16 buttons, 15 bookshelves and sticky pistons, 46 redstone, a redstone repeater and 14 comparators and then you'll need a whole bunch of building blocks of which you'll need 15 stairs and 8 slabs and that's for the ceiling on the inside of the room. Most of those are to make it look nice as you can see here however one of the things that is important is that you have a stair block right here so the redstone signal can be passed up to the top so for that reason I'd recommend building the roof out of stairs and slabs. So the first thing we're going to do is actually dig down a little bit further we need to place the sticky pistons under the bookshelf so they need to go in a ring around the middle area like this so just place all of these we're going to be putting bookshelves on top of them there we go and now in goes our bookshelves all the way around the side like this now that all of those are in place we're going to place down a whole bunch of comparators so one is going to go in that gap facing that direction one here and another one there then we want one at the top on the side and one on the other side as well and last of all we're going to put one right here and then all we need to do is put redstone in between all of these comparators so in all of these gaps just place down some redstone so it goes all the way back around here and then that is done. So for the next step we are going to place down a lot of blocks and after we've done that we'll be placing down redstone so let's start off with this first block that goes right there and then above it we want one on either side so remove that one there then the next thing we want to do is place down blocks above this gap that goes around the whole of the outside so use that as a guideline these blocks are going to be directly above it and we do that just going all the way around we don't want a block there though and then when you get to this bit we're going to come back by two blocks like this now the next thing to do is to place down a load of stair blocks in the middle and we want it so the corners are going to connect up and look nice like this so now that we've placed those we're going to put a half slab right here and then half slabs going around the inside like so. We want to place a full block here so it's slightly lower and below that you can place the enchanting table and then we want to go up top and place a block above that gap right there. Remove this one at the back and then we want to put three blocks in front like this then another three on this side in this position remove the one at the top there and another three over here like this and then that's all of the blocks placed. 
So now we're going to place down the redstone. We're going to start off with the comparators. We will have one here facing in that direction and another one back here. Then in the opposite direction, we want to put one there on subtract mode. And then another two comparators down here. We're going to have one back here. And these are actually directly above the ones that are down below, if you have a look there. And then last of all, a comparator right there. Then we're going to put our only repeater facing in that direction right there. And then we're going to put down the redstone. So just watch where I place these. There's no point in me continuously saying place it here, place it there. You can see exactly where I'm placing it. And now we just need to go all the way around the outside like this. And then that is all of the redstone placed and there is just one more thing for us to do. So the very last thing that we need to do is place the buttons. So let's go inside. One of them is going to go on this block right here and then we want to put them around the outside. Now what's going to help is having a look down below and seeing the comparators. So you don't want to put them above where a comparator is. So one there, we're going to have five or four even on this side and five across the back because there is a comparator down there as there will also be on this side. So another four going across here and we've got a comparator there, so one there. And now we can actually see this in action. So let's press the button, all of them go up, press this one, all but one go down, apparently not. So it turns out I just forgot to place a piece of redstone right there. So make sure you do that as well. And then when we go in the inside, this one will now work because there's redstone above it to power. So that one stays up. Let's just check a couple more of these, make sure I haven't made any other mistakes, but I'm pretty sure that is it. And then the one at the top here is going to reset all of them. So that is how you build the one-click enchanting room. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like. And if you happen to be on my server and Jerry Brano is online, send him a message and say thank you because this was all of his works. I just made the tutorial to share it with you guys. So there is a well download in the description box. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.